everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this hair look and I'm also going to be doing my makeup for you today as well so I thought we'd have a little chit chat get ready with me video from the beginning so it's from my hair being wet what I do every day when I'm doing my hair so, so yeah I really hope you enjoy this video let me know in the comments down below how you love to wear your hair so whether you wear it up whether you wear it down and what your favorite products are as well because I always love finding new hair products so yeah I hope you enjoy this video guys let's get into it okay so first of all i just wanted to talk to you quickly about the shampoo and conditioner i use so a lot of people ask me what shampoo and conditioners i use to kind of keep my hair nice and bright and blonde i never really stick to kind of one brand when it comes to shampoo and conditioner i'm not really too fussy on that but what i will always use is a silver shampoo um when i do my hair every week so i kind of use a silver shampoo one to two times a week to just keep it nice and bright at the moment i'm using this one by lee stafford as you can see i've got like none left um, I like this one, but I do find it leaves my hair looking a little bit pink toned and I get a lot of comments actually saying, oh, have you got like a pink toner in or something like that? But no, it's always this shampoo that makes it go a little bit pink. So beware with that one. What I would say is just use it once a week and then use a different shampoo and conditioner for the rest of the week if you wash your hair more than once. The silver shampoo that I will swear by is this one. This is the L'Oreal Expert professional silver shampoo and it's so so good i've run out of it this is why i haven't used it today but it's really really good so if you're going to go between so you've got like a high street one here and a high end one so either or i use them both this one does turn your hair a little bit pink this one is very strong but it gives you that really nice silvery kind of blonde hair so yeah love those two and then for a shampoo at the moment i'm using this one by l'oreal expert as well and um, this is a lumino contrast shampoo it's an illuminating shampoo for blondes or for colored hair so i really love it smells really gorgeous and basically what i'll do is i'll use this one first to kind of wash my hair and then i'll use the silver shampoo second and then condition so yeah those are the products i use i'll list them down below for you but yeah Let's get ready, shall we? Right, so I'm gonna start by just putting some moisturizer on. I'm just gonna have a little chat with you guys, so I hope you don't mind. But yeah, what have you all been up to? Oh God, my mum is ringing me, hold on. All right then. All right, love you, bye. bye. Yeah, so anyway, what have you guys been up to? I'm just moisturizing my face quickly because my skin is really dry at the moment. It's got a few blemishes. I'm just using this foundation at the moment. This is by Nip and Fab in the shade 20. I really like it for every day. It's really nice. Yeah, so I've had so many requests for this video. Like, ever since having my hair cut, everyone always says, oh, Lisa, can you do a video or a tutorial on how you do your curls? And honestly, guys, it's so, so easy. It's so simple. I've been doing it for years now. I don't use any other tools other than my straighteners. Um, just because I can't be bothered faffing around with curlers and waiting for them to heat up. Straighteners are so quick and easy to use. And once you get the hang of it, you'll find it so, so easy. Also, can you believe we are so close to 40,000 now? 40,000 subscribers, I cannot believe it. I'm just over the moon. We reached like 20,000 at Christmas and I'm just like in shock that we've gone up that quick. I'm just so, so happy and so, so grateful. So thank you so much, guys. Once we reach 40,000, I've decided to do a really big giveaway. So I'm going to do four giveaways because obviously it's 40,000. I wanted to give... I don't want to just give away one prize <laughs> so I thought if I do four for 40,000 that would be really cool also because we're not at 40,000 yet or I don't think we will be by the time this video goes up but if we are then yay um, but if we're not then please keep sharing my videos interacting with me the more you interact the more I'm going to see you guys and I'm going to be able to give you lots of fab gifts so yeah make sure you interact with me I already see so many of you commenting weekly every time I upload a video you're all so so supportive so thank you so much for that ignore this patch look at this like patch from my I wear like a bracelet in the night a fertility bracelet and oh, it takes all my tan off I'm just going to put a little highlighter on my eyebrows are looking crazy this highlight palette I love it it's I don't even think it's a highlighter palette. What is it called? It's just called Sweet Glow by Pixi. And I always use these kind of top three shades because they're kind of champagne-y, bronzy shades. But I always get asked about my highlighter. And this, guys, is my fave. I like to put it on like the apples on my cheeks though as well because then I'm always glowing. I don't know why. I don't, I don't just put it here. I put it here too. Does anyone else do that? I'm also using this Pixi palette. This is the Let's talk eyes palette i just like to add like a warm tone to my eyes because i don't really wear liquid liner on my top lash line anymore um i find that i need to wear eyeshadow otherwise my eyes look a bit weird so i feel a bit all weird because i'm filming this and i never do like 
this is not a tutorial but i never do tutorials anymore and i always used to do um makeup tutorials on my channel so it just feels weird to be doing this like sitting down and actually talking to you while i'm doing my makeup again my eyebrows are quite dark already i tried that maybelline brow tattoo on them oh tattoo brow and that is really good i really like it i've got the shade light i think it's light brown i think it's the lightest one you can get i do find it's a little bit warm for me though it does like as it fades it goes quite warm on my brows and i don't really like that but i do like the product it's like a really good product uh so i will still use it but it just goes a little bit too warm i like more of a taupey ashy kind of shade on my brows i'm going to use this mascara this is the bad girl bang by benefit i would highly recommend this i've used this since it launched and oh my god guys this is my favorite mascara ever i think as well again like i said i don't use um liquid liner so i need my lashes to look like they're there do you know what i mean so yeah this is just so good so i've got my mascara on i never put it on the lower lash line i just find it makes my eyes feel a little bit more awake when i don't wear it on my bottom lash line also it can transfer so i don't bother with that i put bronzer on already but i'm just going to add a little bit more of this one these like darker shades here just to add a bit more definition we're nearly there just got the lips to do now okay so on my lips i'm going to use the shade that i'm always using at the moment it's the buxom lip liner in the shade hush hush but it's like so run down like it's so worn down and i haven't got like a big sharpener so i need to get one and then i'm going to use a lip gloss so this is the pixie um lip icing in the shade cake i just love a gloss at the moment it just makes me feel like my makeup is done when i've got gloss on I find it so much better if I just let my hair dry in the towel for a little bit rather than just getting it straight out and then drying it because it's just too wet and it's too much heat on my hair. So I try to minimise the heat on my hair and I'll only curl it once a week, once or twice a week. Um, the rest of the week obviously I'll just leave it and I won't have any other heat on it. So it's only when I dry it and then when I just do the curling which usually what I will do is I'll wash my hair, um, blow dry straighten it and then I'll leave it for a couple of days and then I'll curl it just so I've got a little bit more wear out of it otherwise I find that if I curl it straight away like I'm going to do today only to show you guys but usually if I curl it straight away it doesn't last as long and my hair feels dirty I really hate having loads of products in my hair so yeah I've just popped some products in my hair and brushed it all through and I just want to talk you through what I'm using I've been using these for years now the first product I use is this by Bumble so this is the hairdresser's invisible oil primer this is a heat protector and it detangles your hair and it just smells amazing so I always use this to just detangle comb through my hair and then I like to apply this which is the Shuomura straightforward time-saving blow-dry oil so this is an oil that you just spray into your hair I always just spritz it onto the end it helps your hair to blow dry quicker so I always love using this because I'm super lazy and I couldn't be bothered to ever do my hair so anything that makes it quicker the better and then I also use this which I've only been using this probably for around six months and it's the Kevin Murphy shimmer me blonde so it's a repairing shine treatment for blondes and you can use this when your hair is dry or when it's wet like I do my hairdresser always uses it on my hair when it's wet and then sprays it on after as well and it just gives that little bit of shine gives that extra healthy look to your hair so I love that as well so now I'm going to dry my hair and I use the GHD this is a GHD hair dryer I don't know if there's a specific model it doesn't say it on here Oh, it's the GHD Air 1.0 um, and I've been using this again for about two or three years now. Love it, really, really good. And I literally just use a paddle brush to blow dry my hair. I don't blow dry it like with a big round brush because again, I'm not very good with stuff like that. So I literally will just dry it. So I'm gonna do that now and then we'll curl it. like blast dried so literally I've just popped the hair dry on it and used my brush throughout just to kind of 
smooth it a little bit now my hair is naturally very curly and as the years have gone on and obviously as i've bleached it and things like that it's gone a lot straighter so it's definitely not as frizzy and curly as it used to be because obviously i straighten it weekly um but this is what it looks like when i've literally just kind of blast dried and blow dried it a little bit which I think is pretty good. It, it goes really straight now compared to what it used to look like. So I don't really feel the need to now go over it with the straighteners. I'm just going to go straight into curling it. I'm going to literally section it. So I've got my straighteners. I'm just pop, I've just put my straighteners on to heat up. And now what I do is I section my hair. So I usually will curl my hair in around three sections, I would say. So I'm just going to clip it up with one of these clips from Primark. These are what I use all the time. Everyone asks me what I use to curl my hair and it's these. These are Cloud9 Wide Irons and I've had these for about five years probably and they're still going strong. And now what I'm going to do is I'll show you now what I do to curl it. So look, I've got a section about, I don't know, two inches maybe. And I'll just go from the top, I'll clamp my hair, keep going down. And as I'm going down, I'm just twisting the irons backwards like so all the way down and then it just gives me that kind of curl now i don't worry too much about it until it's all done and then i'll run my fingers through it because obviously i don't want it to look too crazy or too curly but i find that if i just do it like this curl all the way down and then just leave it to drop i have no real structure when it comes to curling my hair sometimes i'll curl them backwards sometimes i'll curl them forwards but usually the front ones i like to go backwards um, so I'm going to do the same on this side and obviously with this hand I have to go downwards and then go backwards. So I go in with my straighteners downwards and then curl it backwards like so and that is the curl you get. So that's what it looks like. I take quite big sections because I don't want it to look too done. I want it to look like it's a natural wavy kind of curl and I want it to be that kind of messy look. So. I don't, I'm never too precise with this. If you've got normal size straighteners, you'll be able to get a bit more of a curl if you're after that kind of look, so a little bit more curly. But I'm going for that kind of like messy, I don't know what I'm looking for, quite glamorous, yeah, a little bit more boho. So yeah, that is what I'm going for. So next section now, it just makes it so quick to do it in three sections, you're literally done. And also, sometimes if I don't want it to look super, super curly, I'll just like start halfway down and just curl the ends, just again to give that bit of movement. Um, but today I'm just gonna start it a bit higher up because I would like it to last um, for tomorrow as well. So now I'm gonna go this way, so I'm going over and curling it, just again. And that will just give a little bit more lift at the top. So yeah, it, it just depends on how you like your hair, whether you like it a little bit flatter or if you want that bit of volume, you can go backwards. Honestly, there's no real, I just kind of do what, what looks good at the time. I'm really, really bad at doing these videos. Like, sorry if this is like a terrible way to explain it. So again, over and twist and just bring the straighteners down as you're going. It can get a bit stuck sometimes, so just keep going, you'll get there in the end. Like, I sometimes get a bit stuck here, look. But just keep going down. And you'll get it. Don't worry if some of the ends are a bit out. It looks cool, I think. I think that looks good. I really love having shorter hair because it has made me make more effort. But um, it doesn't take long time. It doesn't take long to do either. So that's why I really love having my shorter hair now. Um... I do look back at photos and think, oh, my hair was so lovely and long, but it never looked that healthy. And I find that when my hair's shorter, it definitely looks a lot healthier, especially being blonde. You kind of need to cut all of those dead ends off because my hair was so processed. And it, did, it didn't feel too bad, but when I did have it cut off, it felt amazing. And again, with like the top section, I don't really start as high up on the root. I kind of bring it down a little bit more. If you're still with me and you're watching this, can you um, turn your notifications on if you're not, if they're not turned on already? Just to make sure you get notified every time I upload because sometimes YouTube doesn't like to tell you but I want you to know every time I upload. If you are new around here, I upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 o'clock in the morning UK time. So just for reference, yeah. But that guys, look, that is my hair and I don't actually feel like I need to kind of put my fingers through it too much if you find that it's a little bit curly use a brush like this and kind of just go through it at the ends and that will definitely make it a little bit looser a little bit more uniform and it will look really beautiful but i don't think i want to 
I'm not going to brush it out because otherwise it's going to just make it frizzy. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to spray some of this back in my hair. So this is the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Me Blonde. Repairing Shine Treatment for Blondes. And it's got little shimmers in it. You can't really see it there, can you? That's all like shimmer in there, which is really beautiful. And I'm just going to spray that on just to give me a little bit more shine. And that is it if you want to put a hairspray in you can to make it last a bit longer again i really hate having loads of products in my hair so i won't put anything else in it now if i was going to like an event or going out for the evening i would put hairspray in it but for my day-to-day -day kind of hair look i never put hairspray in it just because i don't mind when it drops out I, I quite like the look of it but yeah this is my hair so this is how my hair is looking now. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to recreate this look. And if you do, please send me a picture because I would absolutely love to see it. Send me a picture on Instagram. I'll share it on my Instagram story. So it's at Lisa Prido. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. It would mean the world to me. Also, make sure you hit those notification bells to make sure that you get notified every time I upload. Thank you, guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye.